Right, so I'm going to keep this relatively short. I was recently watching the channel What If Alt Hissed, and he said something in his video, 12, Another 12 Lives About Reality, that I just feel like somebody needs to say, No, that's wrong! I'll play the relevant parts here, but it's the first lie about reality in the video, so... I feel like smart intellectual people often like to focus on the rational and negative to the detriment of the emotional and positive. An argument I often hear, often from libertarians and people on the right, but also from the Richard Dawkins left-wing atheist nerd squad, is that all human behavior is inherently greedy, selfish, and self-interested. First off, I would point out that intelligence is negatively correlated with cynicism, in that uh, dumb people tend to be more cynical than, than smart people, but that's neither here nor there, and not really even the big issue. But my major contention with this video is ultimately that second part where he talks about about the Richard Dawkins atheist nerd Nick squad. I mean, obviously, I can't speak for Richard Dawkins or any of the four horsemen of new atheism, but I can at least listen to Richard Dawkins. Simply because the way you said it and the language you used precipitated a reaction that did not necessarily respect the point you wanted to make. Yes, that's right. It was a, a misunderstood book, quite largely by people who didn't actually read it, <laughs> read it by title only. I mean, it's, a, it's got a t title which kind of provokes people, because people think it means that we are selfish, or that individual organisms are selfish, and it doesn't mean that. It means genes are selfish, and as a consequence of genes being selfish, individuals like us may be very altruistic. So a great deal of the book is explaining why individuals are altruistic, because genes are selfish. Genes, of course, aren't selfish in the sense that they have thoughts, they're just DNA, I mean, they can't be selfish in that sense, but they look after their own self-interest. The fundamental Darwinian law is that uh, DNA codes work through individuals to preserve themselves, and one of the ways they work is to make individuals altruistic, nice, cooperative. It's not the only way, but Richard Dawkins pioneered an idea called the selfish gene. This was a book back in, like, I think it was the 70s or the late 60s. And this, the entire premise of this book is about creating a theory for altruism, about where altruism actually does come from. And, and the theory is simply that our genes are the things that are ultimately selfish. So if there are anything that propagates the continuation of our genes is going to be the thing, is going to be something that evolution will select for. That... Um, that, far from creating selfish individuals who are only in it for themselves, creates selfish individual, selfless individuals that will help out other people who are in need. And it's really simple as to why. There are selfish genes inside of me that are also inside of you. So if those genes want to be passed on, the most selfish thing they can do is create a selfless individual. Actually read the book, The Selfish Gene, if you want to really good explanation of this, but that is the elevator pitch of what the selfish gene actually means. And if what if Alt Hiss had actually known that, he wouldn't have been making this proclamation because, I don't know, maybe that thing is true about Sam Harris, but every third interview with Richard Dawkins is basically him saying this exact same thing. Look, the reason this sort of matters to me is that I kind of like what if Alt Hiss, and I don't want him to have... He seems like a fairly reasonable middle-of-the-road kind of guy, and when most history channels are between borderline fascist and borderline communist, it's nice to have somebody somewhat in the middle here who doesn't seem like doesn't seem like an extremist in any sort of meaningful way. But this is a pretty concise failure that puts into question everything that surrounds it. If you can't get this basic fact right, then it really really worries me. Our age of history is about to end. The world that you and I have spent our entire lives in, upon which we've built our assumptions at how the world works, will end shockingly and markedly in the near future. Something bad might happen today. What? Hmm, who knows?